We saw in a previous video, link in the description, how to configure a, um, a forty source secure message exchange with the um, with just a host name, and then link and then create that host name in the host file in order to be, in order for it to be resolvable. So we'll do the, today the same thing, but using a proper DNS server and um, a host name that we configure in in the DNS. So let's start with looking up the IP address of this host where we will deploy the um, the uh, secure message exchange uh, software. So it's 54. So basically, we just need to create a DNS entry in the DNS server for this host. So go to forward lookup and we create an A record and this record will be the name or the host name of this machine. So we'll call it Secure Message Exchange Router 1. And then we give it the IP address, which is already set on, on the device. Right? We click Add Host, and that's pretty much all. We can check whether the DNS entry we added is uh, properly uh, working. So we point to our uh, DNS server, and then we will look up the new host name. All right, so it gives us the right IP address. We just need to make sure that we are using this DNS server in the uh, configuration. And we save the configuration. We will also need to make sure that our FortiSor instance is using the same uh, DNS server. So just go uh, login as root, and then we check the DNS configuration. We'll just replace this with the same DNS server we used for the secure message exchange. That's it for the uh, FortiSor DNS configuration. And now we disconnect the SSH, SSH session of the secure message exchange and then login back again. Uh, the first login uh, after the installation will be uh, presented with the uh, user uh, license agreement. So you click uh, next. So we should accept the license and then we'll proceed with the configuration wizard that we already see. So, so we have already seen, so we'll just uh, go through it very quickly. So uh, the most important part here is to set the uh, host name uh, properly. So our host name is SME router one dot forty lab dot com. And the DNS server is our own DNS or local DNS server. In this case, it's 63. All right, admin, same thing. So we set a password for the uh, the secure message exchange application. We can leave the ports as uh, they are. And then we proceed with the installation. All right, once the installation is completed, we can uh, reconnect. And we can uh, immediately look for the certificate which we would need in the GUI configuration. So just copy certificate, go back to our FortiSor interface. So uh, this this is uh, SME router one configuration, and then we will use the fully qualified host name as uh, configured in the DNS server. So SME router one app.com. We use the same password we set during the configuration wizard, and we paste the certificate. At this point, the router should be uh, up and running 
and uh, ready to uh, work with uh, agents or uh, remote Fortisor instances. All right, thank you for watching.